Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Here are three great reasons to use libraries in Photoshop. First, you can create an unlimited number of libraries, which can hold several different types of content, including colors and color themes, gradients, character styles and layer styles, your brushes, your graphics, even your patterns. To add a graphic, I can drag it from the image area or from the layers panel and just drop it into the library. To add attributes such as colors and character attributes, I can select the layer, then click on the plus icon and select the desired attributes. Once you add graphics to a library, we can drag it into the canvas in order to add it. Here I'll quickly add the sun to all of my open documents. Now to change a color, I'll target the layer in the layers panel and then click to apply the color. To change the font, I'll select the layer and then click on the character style. It's like using a real-time style guide in order to apply the correct look and feel across your different documents. Second, libraries and their assets, including those graphics, are stored in the cloud. This means that you can access the content in the libraries panel across your computers and devices and applications like Illustrator and InDesign. Third, you can share the contents of your libraries and distribute assets to others. I'll select Invite People, which will enable me to send an email invite and control the level of access that I want to give those that I'm collaborating with. When I select a Can View option, the recipient can view and use the assets, but they can't modify or delete any of them. When I select a Can Edit option, the recipient can use and modify, as well as rename, move, and delete library content. So there you go, three great reasons to use libraries in Photoshop.